Hey there guys, I'm the Royal Gorilla and welcome to Space Engineers. This is an early access game and there's been a big update recently and they've added in planets and is there any planets around? Yeah, there's one over there and of course Earth is just over there. So what we're going to do today is we're going to play for a bit and see if we can build a ship and go to Earth. So we're in creative mode so I don't have to worry about anything like mining. And that way I can just build a really cool ship, hopefully. Whoa, that's a big bit of lag. What is going on? Jesus Christ. What is happening? Am I being shot at? Mate, what are you shooting at? Oh, that thing over there. Oh, it's dead. No, don't don't crash into my ship. You ass. So hopefully the design of this will make sense. I'm not sure if it is going to, but hopefully it will. That's not good because we're being attacked again and I don't want it to crash into my ship again. Please don't crash into my ship. Oh no, please, please no, no, debris. Good debris, well done. Okay then guys, so I am hoping there is nothing I've forgotten, but I think it's just about time for our maiden voyage. Oh, this is going to be a tense moment. I don't know if this thing is going to work. We have painted everything. Hopefully it's okay. I'm hoping it's okay. I haven't checked it. Okay. Let's get in the seat. So, if you haven't worked it out already, what we have made is a thing of beauty. Let's just get her into orbit a little bit. Let's keep her there. What we have made is a space gorilla. It looks quite good actually. Better than I was expecting. It hasn't got any ears. That's what's missing. Um, yeah, it's not incredible. No, not by any means. But, you know, it, it's sort of a, a good idea, I guess. Yeah, so we've made a little gorilla. Right, that has gone pretty well. We now have a flying gorilla. So let's get ourselves into space. And see if we can get to Earth and successfully land. This could probably take a while. I actually think I've made that really well. I'm actually impressed with myself. I don't think it would look half as good. But yeah, I can kind of looks like a face, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm happy with that. That is a good make there, Luke. Well done. Thank you. Okay, we're going to head to Earth. Inertial dampeners off. Make sure we're nice and up to speed. Let off the thrust. And there we go. We are heading to Earth at 100 meters a second. Awesome. Okay, this is taking a really, really long time. Let's have a wander around, see what's going on. Whoa, no, 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 don't leave the ship behind. That would be bad, that would be very bad. So yeah, we've left the moon behind. Just, we still have a very, very long way to go. These planets are not close, not close at all. I'd hate having to go over to one of them ones. Jeez, that would take forever. I don't know if there's like any kind of boost or something like that. I'm not sure. Ah, no, 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 no. We're leaving the ship behind. I turned on my inertial dampness. That was a bad idea. So I don't know the strategy for what happens when we get to the planet. I don't know whether you're meant to be really, really slow. You're meant to come in at an angle. So I think my thinking of it is to basically kind of go for the horizon and then kind of just take it in gently. 
rather than going straight at the planet. So hopefully the horizon will work. I don't really know about that. But the way I see it is if I just carry on straight ahead, I should just go through the atmosphere and not hit the planet. But we'll find out if that actually works. Oh, that's good. We're only using 25% of our power. It's very good. I wonder if maybe we should put some atmospheric thrusters on. Because we've made it now. It, it's beautiful and everything, but it's time for a bit of practicality. So maybe while we're doing this, let's put some more thrusters on to try and actually successfully land. We have to be careful with this because we could fly off into space, which we don't want. That would be very bad. Wow, that is massive. Okay. That is bigger than I expected it to be. Don't know where we're going to put these. Right. There we go. I think that is it. What do you look like now? Oh my god, now you just look like a monkey. Okay, yeah, that actually kind of looks alright. We've lost some of the thrusters, but now hopefully we shouldn't just instantly crash once we get on the planet. That is hopefully the idea there. Okay. That's not the worst thing I've done. Okay, yeah, that's not too bad at all. Okay, right. Let's get back in the ship because we are about to hit the planet's gravity, I reckon. Oh, shit. Uh, come on, back to the ship, back to the ship, please, 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 please. Yeah, I think we're, I think we've hit it. It's, it's really struggling now. Oh my god, I can't keep up. Come on, come on, in the ship. Oh bollocks! No, 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 no. This has gone really badly. We can't lose the ship now. That is going to be the worst possible thing to happen. Yeah, we're getting dragged towards the planet pretty hard. Oh, no. We spent too much time outside. T, T, T. Please, T. Okay. Let's just let me drift. Oh, Jesus. That was tight. Okay. The planet's gravity is in effect. Okay, we are falling, aren't we? Yeah. So we look fine still. We didn't ruin anything. Underneath, we've got a few more thrusters. Which is good. I am very happy with this. Oh my god, this is scary. This is really scary. What's going on? What's going on? What was that? What just happened? I always slam into these planets. I just don't want to do that this time. I want to get a nice smooth landing. And I will be very happy. Oh my god. We, I can just see us dropping. That is not good at all. Right, inertial dampeners actually. That's probably going to be a good idea to have them back on. If we can keep ourselves from falling. Oh. The atmospheric thrusters are working. You know what? We might have this. I'm going to be so happy if we can actually do this. We will be the first gorilla on this planet. Oh, I think we're falling. I think we're falling really hard. Uh-oh. I don't think we're going to make this, you know. Because inertial dampeners are on. We're definitely not slowing down. That means we're falling. Oh, bollocks. Oh, we're slowing down. You know what? We might actually do this. Right, so normally by now I would have slammed into the planet, so I'm quietly confident about this. And the pure fact the speed is dropping is also a very good sign. Okay, look at that. We are just floating. Oh, this has gone incredibly well. It's going to be the first time we've actually... Uh-oh. Please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop. Okay. We're just like... How far off the ground? 26 metres. Right, this is where I want to be. Slow us down. We're not slowing down. Oh, watch that, watch that. That's close. No, we're fine, we're fine. Here we go. This is the moment. If we can stop... This is it. Down. And puck. We've done it. Why is the reactors off? Oh, look at that. The first gorilla on Earth. His name is Luke and he's more than your average gamer. Oh my god, I'm getting attacked by dogs. What is going on? No ordinary let's player. No bad Easter eggs much better. Da 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 da. His name is Luke, aka the Roy Gorilla. Even bigger than the giant Godzilla. Follow him in every game he goes. Da 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 da. He 
he's almost got everything you need from GTA 5 to Assassin's Creed. And now.